Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about intimidate, manipulate, motivate. Actually, if you think about it, all leaders and managers fall into one or more of those categories. I believe the good managers and leaders can use all three at the right time. You hear that and you say, wait a second, I shouldn't have to intimidate people to perform? Sure, you should. There should be occasions where they should be somewhat intimidated by you. I'm sure you've heard the term, the fear of God. Well, what is that? Not that I'm afraid of God. I'm intimidated by the power, the authority. Now, that's not to say we as business leaders or business managers should be thinking of ourselves as God, but we do have to think of ourselves as intimidators at times. There has to be the person who has the guts to call somebody out for mediocrity, has the guts to call somebody out for poor performance. They have the guts to say, I've had enough. It's time you step up or step off. But see, intimidation only lasts a short amount of time. This is where most business managers and business leaders lose it. They think they can intimidate and intimidate and intimidate and intimidate and that people will put up with it. And they won't. Actually, what they do is their performance goes down without them telling you that it's going to go down because they don't want to deal with it. And they basically get beat down, held down, until they finally leave. Intimidation should be boom and move on. Well, then you have manipulation. Manipulation is actually when I tell you this is what I want, and if you give it to me, I'm going to give you this reward. Employee bonuses. Actually, employee bonuses are manipulation. Most people don't want to think about that, but it's the truth. What we're saying is, I'm going to set up a guideline for you, and then I'm going to push you towards it, and I'm going to conjole you to get it, and I'm manipulating you, and once you get it, I'm going to give you your little piece of cheese, and then I'm chances are going to change what I want next time, maybe a little more. Manipulation is not bad. It's fine. Manipulation is fine, as long as you use it in the right way. Manipulation lasts a little bit of midterm. Intimidation, very short. Get it done, make the comment, make the leadership Call it a day. Manipulation, eh, midterm. Won't last super long. You can see that when you give employees raises or management raises. They're all excited about it when you give it to them. But then the reality is, is after you've given it to them, eh, they get used to the fact that now I'm making this new money or I've already spent the bonus and boom, the motivation is gone. They're not all that excited about it. You actually see it with vacations, too. Vacation is a somewhat of a manipulation. It's a benefit. I'm giving it to you. They're usually working pretty hard the few days before they go on the vacation, and they come back, and they're not so driven. Boom. Manipulation gone. And there's motivation. Back in the day, everybody, oh, you got to motivate all your people. You can't intimidate them. You can't manipulate them. It's all about motivation. Interestingly enough, if your only game is motivation, People will take advantage of you in times. Motivation does have long-term positive consequences, though. Motivation is, let me put you in a position so that you can help make your own decisions. Let me teach you the why so that you are driven to perform for you, not for me. Motivation is giving your staff a pile of quotes on little cue cards and let them read them. And these aren't quotes from you. These are quotes from some of the greatest people in history. Also, it could be from some of the baddest decision makers in history. You can take quotes from people 
who made comments that said, computers will never become some personal gadget in anybody's home. It won't ever happen. So you can see that highly intelligent, successful people aren't always right. We've had medical experts say, oh, smoking cigarettes won't have a negative impact on you. Go ahead, smoke them up. When they find out later, they're wrong. We've had people that have said, oh, the stock market will never get any better than it is. It won't ever get any higher. They said that in the 1930s. <laughs>